it's your girl v lee welcome or welcome back to my channel in my last vlog i let y'all know that i was onboarding for a new account obviously that account did not work out so it is monday october 30th it is 7 46 in the morning um on the truck i just did my pre-trip i'm about to get rolling because i am headed to do the onboarding slash orientation for a new account um in the last vlog, y'all did also see that I had to take this truck for an inspection for this account. So, I'm about to head over there. I'm supposed to be there at 8.30. It's only 20 minutes away. So, I should get there in good time. And All right, y'all. I just pulled up. I parked in a parking spot. And it was like, hey, you here for orientation? I was like, yeah. They're like, can you move to the back? So, I just had to move. They asked me did I have my safety vest. I always got a safety vest. <laughs> if it ain't one thing I got, boy, I got a safety vest, okay? We shouldn't need a lot to tell us to pay attention while driving. We should just be paying attention while driving because we know it's the right thing to do. Technically, the last thing you should do is the post-trip mm -hmm. inspection. In this case, we don't allow people to stay hooked up to a container, so you would have to bring your tractor over here. But this right here inside. Okay. Okay. Out, put it out. Put it out. You want to cut it out? Put it out. Okay. Of course, take this latch off. Okay, y'all, I just finished up with their um, orientation, but they couldn't fully put me in their system. They sent me to go do a drug test. Pulled up over here. About to go take this drug test. Found me a park on the side. And of course, the place is closed. They closed at two o'clock and it's 3.30. So, uh, <laughs> I just now emailed the lady back and told her that it was closed and asked her if she could send me somewhere else in the, in the area because I'm trying to get this taken care of today, get it squared away. I just finished up taking my drug test. Luckily, this lady stayed open for me. It was real nice. TLTC solutions, screening and solutions or something like that. Quick, fast, in and out. They should have those results by tomorrow. I just made it back to the yard. So it's 5.37. Um, I did the orientation today. Everything went good with that. Tomorrow, they're going to give us the EOD. Because we are on that account, of course, they require certain stuff. And the EOD is something that they require. So there's no way around it. And I don't have a problem with it. It makes it easier for me. To be honest, that's a wrap. I'm gonna take it to the house. Good morning, y'all. It is 6:55. I've been at the truck for about 20 minutes now. Um, letting it warm up. It is icy out here this morning. It's like 30 something degrees. Y'all see frost still on the windows. I'm about to get rolling in about five minutes. This thing should be done defrosted by then. I gotta be there at eight o'clock. I like being early. When you on time, you're late. When you early, you on time. I don't see nobody. The gate closed. Well, let me see that person going in. I don't know y'all. I had to uh, ride on somebody's coattail in. <laughs> I don't even think the office open. I think the people here literally, well, no. No, I think it's people in there. Let me go see. I hate being new sometimes because you got to figure everything out. Child, I had to stop at Bojangles because your girl is hungry. I just came back from in the office and they're about to install this ELD. But I don't know how they finna do that because... I don't know. They got a little piece. They got me going to the port and I never been to the port in um, Savannah. So the port hell, the port is hell. I'm gonna just take my time. Don't rush. And um, try to make it there safely. So basically I'm gonna be hauling containers every day. I may be going to the port every day. I may not be, who knows. Just found the trailer. So I'm about to get out and do my inspection, make sure everything looking good, everything good to go.
get fuel. I had to unlock myself out of the um the car because I didn't realize that it was already set up. So I was calling to get it set up. And she like, no, it's already set up. So here I go looking crazy, of course. I don't know why I didn't get me nothing to drink when I was in there. phone booth i done went to the phone booth about three or four times because it was kind of my my um fault when i first got here they asked me for the tag number i thought i was in the other truck i forgot i was in this truck so i gave them the wrong tag number Y'all wouldn't believe what time it is. 
Yeah, it's 11.55. I am so freaking tired. Okay, y'all. I'm going to take it to the house, and I'll see y'all back tomorrow for another load. Back to the port. Good morning, y'all. It is, of course, the next day. It is Friday. Headed to the truck. My time should be back by now. Gotta go pick up this empty trailer and then we headed back to the port today. But guess what? Guess what, y'all? Your girl is not gonna be lost today because I got a map. <laughs> I printed my maps. It's like five different maps. I printed all of them because I will not be looking like a fool today, okay? People will not be blowing me down today. Honestly, once I looked at that map, it's not even that hard. But of course, when you doing something for the first time, it's gonna be difficult, so. I mean, I ain't gonna be too hard on myself because it was my first time. I did not get a chance to prepare for going down there because I got my load yesterday. I usually trip plan and do all of that. I don't like to walk into no surprises. I be pulling up the satellite so I can see like the entrances, the exits, how I'm supposed to come in. So I do not get myself into a situation that I cannot get out of without getting a tow or getting, um, like a ticket or something. Just pulled up to the truck. About to go ahead and get this stuff situated and head out. I done went in the office, got my paperwork. So now I gotta put in all the um my information into this tablet. I got a 20 foot container today. Yesterday I had a 40. Come on. 
mama. Y'all just don't know how proud of myself I am. Like, for real. I came in. I went straight to my sex. And I got the hell on. Yes, sir. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday was a damn struggle. I mean, I gotta make a U-turn. <laughs> oh Lord, how I do that? Like I don't live here. Like I ain't been living here. It's crazy. I'm back at the yard, but I gotta. I forgot to fill out this before I came. Um, when you bring it in a container or you taking one out, you gotta fill out this sheet with all the information on it. And I should have did this before I left Savannah. in this video let me just go ahead and explain to y'all what's going on because some of y'all may be confused because y'all saw me do a bunch of things on this channel as far as like hauling different equipment so my main thing is i wanted to learn how to be able to pull any type of equipment i've done driving i've done refrigerated units i've pulled the containers here and there but it never went this in depth y'all saw me do trash y'all saw me do the scrap metal with the um the salvaged cars so yes i'm trying to learn it all what i've learned in trucking is you got to get in where you fit in you cannot limit yourself and just some clarification we go and do different accounts but i'm still with the same on operator thank y'all for watching make sure y'all like comment subscribe all of that good stuff and i will see y'all on the next video